Dave's Kitchen Conundrum, not necessarily a conundrum, but it's a really super simple recipe for shortbread. Shortbread is really amazing. You can adapt it in so many different ways and we're gonna get started right now. I have four ingredients in front of me and that that's all it takes to make shortbread. So in the bowl of a mixer with the paddle attachment, I have two sticks of unsalted butter and you want to use the best quality butter you can find. So to this, I'm going to add three quarters of a cup of confectioner's sugar and you want to cream this together until it's nice and light and fluffy. Now, shortbread is really great because you can do so many different things with it. You can make little cookies, you can make bars, you can make wedges. You could even turn it into a crust for a tart. It is a great base recipe that once you learn how to make it, you will have that in your back pocket and you can use it in so many different ways. So this is gonna cream together. And then the other two ingredients that I have, two cups of all-purpose flour and one and a quarter teaspoons of coarse salt. So I'm gonna sift these two ingredients together just using a wire whisk here. Now, talking about the variations, you can really customize this with so many different things. You could add a little bit of vanilla extract, almond extract, even a little bit of lemon zest or spices would be really great in this dough and you'd have a totally different cookie or shortbread. Now, classically, shortbread is a ratio. So it's about one part sugar to two parts butter or shortening. That's where it gets its name from a high percentage of shortening and three parts of flour. So the butter and the sugar has creamed together nicely. I'm gonna just scrape down the sides of the bowl and I'm going to now add the flour and I'm just gonna mix this until it comes together. Now, you don't want to over mix when you add the flour because you'll end up with a tough shortbread. And then just turn it on low until everything's just incorporated. Do not over mix. You wanna make sure that your oven is preheated to 300 degrees. Now shortbread is really unique in that it's a cookie or a crust that you cook at a low temperature for a long period of time. And what that does is it helps the shortbread maintain its shape and it allows the cookie or crust, whatever you're making, to cook all the way through. Today, I'm going to make it in a nine by 13 inch baking pan. So one of my favorite tricks is preparing the pan with a little piece of parchment. It will help you to get the shortbread out once it's baked. I'm preparing the pan here only to be able to lift out the shortbread nicely so that we can eventually cut it. Um, but there's so much fat in this cookie that you really don't need to do this step. It's only helpful in getting it out of the pan. So I brushed the pan with butter. I have a nice piece of parchment that's cut to size so I'll be able to easily lift the shortbread out in one nice piece. So now the dough goes into the pan and now taking an offset spatula, you wanna push the dough out into one even thin layer. Make sure that you get the dough into the corners of the pan. So now once your shortbread is a nice smooth even layer, get this right into the fridge or the freezer. It needs to chill for about 20 minutes until it's nice and firm and then we're going to score it. So the shortbread is nice and firm. It's been chilling for about 20 minutes. So I'm gonna cut the shortbread into fours. So that's in half and now again, I'm using a ruler just as a guide so that I get nice clean straight lines and then I'm gonna rotate the pan and again, cut it into fours. So this will equal out to 16 rectangles. So that looks pretty good. And now one last thing, you wanna make sure that you dock the shortbread. This just helps in keeping the shortbread nice and flat, no kind of eruptions or bubbling up, although there is no leavener in the shortbread, so it shouldn't bubble up too much. You can go in any pattern you'd like. And now this goes into a 300 degree oven. You want it in the center of the oven for about 50 minutes. So it's gonna have a nice light golden brown color, but it will be cooked all the way through. So right into the oven. So the shortbread is out of the oven. It's cooled slightly. It's still a little bit warm. And now you wanna make sure it's still a little bit warm because this is the right time to cut it. So the parchment overhang here really helps to get the shortbread out in one nice piece. 
take a very long serrated knife and glide underneath the parchment. There you go. And now, following the pattern of the lines that you've created, just slice the shortbread into nice clean rectangles. And the one awesome thing about shortbread cookies is that they get better over time. So you can really make these in advance and keep them around for weeks on end. That's the whole idea behind shortbread cookies is that they were created so that you could keep them for quite a long time. So there you have it, classic shortbread cookies. You must have these four ingredients on hand so you can make these cookies any night of the week, guys. There you go.